How's it going people? Simon Slap here and this is Land of Goblins which is actually one of the prerequisites to going in for the land so here we go quest requirements you need 30 prayer, 36 agility, 36 thieving, 36 fishing and 37 herb lore. you'll also have to kill a few monsters in here one of which well the highest is 75 and can use all three combat styles items required for this quest You'll need two goblin mills, one light source, a yellow dye, a blue dye, a purple dye, an orange dye, an empty vial, a toad flax potion unfinished, a pestle and mortar, tinder box and fishing rod, which can all be in your tool belt. You'll need one slimy eel, which is uncooked, and I'd highly recommend a skills necklace with four tellies, a combat brace, four tellies, a dogish can teleport sphere, probably five should do, and your glory for will be more than enough but if you can't use any of them then you can use the Camelot, RD, Drainer and Lumbridge home tellies. But as soon as you're ready to start you want to head underground into Lumbridge's cellar, go through the little hole in the wall and make your way east to the Goblin Mine and when you're over here go ahead and talk to Gubfoot or Grubfoot should say. And basically find out why he's not allowed in Dorgish Khan City and tell him that you'll take responsibility for him. So we now need to take him in and talk to the crazy scientist you get your Dorgish Khan spheres from. Bear in mind this goblin does walk slow so you'll have to walk slow along with him. But all you gotta do is head south in the mine, go through the door, you'll end up in Dorgish Khan and the scientist is in the northwest corner of this place. So as you can see it's quite annoying. You would have thought they'd update followers so they actually run. He will stop just as he reaches here just go ahead and talk to him, you'll mention something about this place is massive just tell him to follow you and go into the northwest door and when you're in here go ahead and talk to Zanuck and he'll mention he's had a dream about UBS and pretty much just ask him how does he know the dream is real and eventually you'll get this little cutscene here and he'll tell you about his dream so how do you know the dream is true uh, the dream is true should say sorry and then Zanak will ask you what do you think tell him you think it must mean something and just say you're ready whenever and eventually you'll get tellied out so you'll suddenly appear in the goblin cave next to the fishing guild as soon as you pop up just run towards your northwest and bear in mind Zanuck is also a very slow follower so you'll have to walk for this one come on So, as I said, keep going towards your northwest. And eventually, on the north side, you will see two goblins standing either side of a door slash stairs. Try to climb down the stairs. And they'll let Xanax straight on through. And they'll tell you you can't come in because you're a human. 
So while we here, pick the black mushroom right next to you. And right click it and grind. And your empty vial will be filled by black ink. So you should now have black mushroom ink. So once you've got your ink and Zanuck has disappeared into the goblin cave, you then want to teleport back to Dorgish Khan and we need to talk to Oldak in that same room. Unfortunately these Dorgish Khan spheres do throw you randomly anywhere in Dorgish Khan. Anywho, northwest corner on the base floor and go ahead and talk to Oldak who's currently hiding behind some stairs so tell him what happened and he'll tell you to go ahead and speak to the makeover mage so use your skills necklace and teleport to the crafting guild Alternatively, you could use a Falador Teleport or a Port Sound Tele. But from the Crafting Guild, just head almost directly north until you hit the fence. And just slightly west of the fence is the Makeover Mage. Right by there. So go ahead and talk to this guy. And ask him if he can turn you into a goblin. And he'll ask you why, just give him any excuse, doesn't really matter. And eventually he'll give you some berries, use those berries on your unfinished toad flax potion and you should end up getting a goblin pot. As soon as you've got your goblin potion you now want to teleport back to the fishing guild. Fucking RMT, fuck off. So, teleport to the fishing guild and just to the northeast of you is the entrance to that goblin cave you was just in. Go ahead and jump in there and again head up to the northwest corner. And this time just before you reach it use your goblin potion and you'll turn into a goblin you can choose any kind of goblin you want it doesn't actually matter and go ahead and track down the stairs as you do the guards will stop you and they'll give you a name just agree to it And as soon as you're inside, head to the north side of the room and you'll find the High Priest Goblin. Sitting in his chair, right by there. So go ahead and talk to him and ask about Ubiask and Zanuck. He'll tell you Zanuck is in jail. Go ahead and talk to him again, and this time ask about Ubiask. And he'll ask you to take part in a quiz before he'll give you any information. So on screen now are all the answers. The first one is true. The next one is Big High War God commands it. Then it's false. 
and then goblins were not mighty warriors before he chose us. Then it's false again. And that's one of the commandments. And finally, lead goblins to victory over the whole world. So once you've done that little quiz, make sure you ask almost every single option. And for the love of God, make sure you ask where UBS is. As if you don't actually ask where UBS is and he does not mention Snothead, it could very well bone you later on in the quest. So just make sure you ask where and he does mention Snothead. You got fair warning. Other than that, go through all of his options. And he'll mention that you need dyes to go into different rooms. So now we need to head down to Drain a Village and talk to Aggie the Witch. So for that we'll actually need to leave here, so head south and go back up the stairs. And once you're outside, equip any kind of equipment, doesn't matter what it is, and you'll turn back into a human. And then just home telly to drain a village, or if you brought a glory, teleport straight to there. And head on down and talk to Aggie the Witch. So, ask her about making some dyes. And then ask her if she can make black or white. And ask her about where you can get the white fish. And she'll tell you you have to go to Hemenster. So, to do that, easiest way is use a combat bracelet and go to the Ranging Guild. Optionally, you can home telly to Sears, that's quite close to it. If you teleport to Sears, then all you need to do is head southwest. If you use the combat bracelet, literally it's directly west of you. Try to enter, and the bloke will ask you what you're trying to do. Just tell him about the whitefish, and he'll allow you to go in for free. And all you gotta do is just fish. And you should instantly get yourself a white fish. So as soon as you got your white fish, we now need to head back down to Aggie the Witch. So back down to Drainer Village. And go ahead and talk to Aggie. So again, ask her about dyes. And ask her if she can remove the dye from this goblin mill. And just say, okay, remove the dye from the goblin mill. And you should get a white goblin mill. Happy days. So, once you've got that, we can now head back to the goblin cave. So, use your skills necklace and teleport back to the fishing guild, or you can already tell you either way. And head back into the goblin cave. So again, head northwest, make sure you use your goblin potion. 
once you're in the goblin form equip the white goblin mill and head back down the stairs in the northern west side corner so we can get back into the room with the high priest so once you're in here you can examine the guards covering each of the door entrances and it'll tell you what colour they are for the white goblin armour it's the left centre so go ahead and enter inside and there should be a priest in here and as soon as you find him right click and pickpocket and you should get a key from him so as you can see the white one will give you something like a saragest key as soon as you've got that exit out and we'll go through the door in the southwest corner and this fella is purple I'm assuming it's the same for everybody easy enough to track just right click so use your purple die on your other goblin mill and then equip it talk to the guard and he'll lay you in and exactly the same thing again find the priest and pickpocket and you should get another key so now we'll head up to the northwest corner and this one is yellow so use your yellow die on your other goblin mail and then equip and walk in and exactly the same again pickpocket the priest So, once you've got that, we'll now head to the southeast corner. And this one is orange. So, orange die. Talk to the guard, head on through, pickpocket the priest. and you should get another key so the eastern side room finally we use our blue die and equip that and head on in pickpocket the priest again get another key And the last one, we need to use our black die and enter the room. So, equip the black armor, head on in. And again, you want to pickpocket the priest, wherever he is. Right with it. Only this time, we'll also talk to Zanek, who's behind jail. Or in jail, should say. Go ahead and talk to him. If you happen to bring Dorgashan orbs, you can hand him one now. If you didn't bring any Dorgashan orbs, then the crate just to my east, you can search and you'll go in from there. And you can give that one to him. As you can see. So you should now have six keys. And Xanax should have teleported out. So just exit out and head up to the north door and we'll be going inside here. So as you go to open the door you'll put all the keys in the little things in the floor. And as soon as you're inside the torch on the left hand side you want to go to first you then want to equip all your armor and go back into human form 
as we're now going to fight the boss of this quest, I guess you could say. They're not too difficult. They're pretty low level. So, as soon as you do, Snot Head will spawn. He's level 35. Simply kill him. And as soon as he's dead, talk to him. And ask him about UBS. And then ask him about his predecessor. And he should say snail feet. As soon as he says that, directly opposite on the east side, on that wall, you can then say another name. And this time say snail feet. And he'll spawn. This one uses melee and range. He's level 45. So, just kill him. And exactly the same thing again. Ask about UBS and his predecessor. And he'll give you another name. This time it's Moschin, so use that on the northwestern side. And this bloke uses melee, magic, and ranged. Although for the most part, he just seemed to range me. So again, soon as you kill him, ask about UBS. And his predecessor. And he'll tell you about red eyes. So directly east of you. Click on the little torch and say red eyes. And this dude will spawn. This one uses melee magic range and has the ability to lower your attack strength and defense. Although he doesn't seem to do it very often. So when he's dead, yet again, ask about UBS and the predecessor, and he'll tell you about strong bones. So go to the north wall, and this time say strong bones. So he'll spawn. This is the highest level one at 75. He uses melee magic range. And also has the ability to lower attack, strength, and defense. He'll also spawn four Scoblins, which are level 15. You can ignore them and just constantly keep attacking Strongbones. As as soon as Strongbones dead, all of those little Scoblins die as well. So soon you kill him, ask him about UBS. And any predecessors. Why did he attack you? And what's it like being dead? And that's it. So, as soon as you've done all that, we now need to head back down to Dorgish Khan. So either Lumbi Telly or Dorgish Khan Spear. The spears are very handy. And we need to talk to Zanuck, who's in the northwest corner again, in Oldak's little shop. Might be there. So go ahead and talk to him. And you'll tell him about everything that happened. And Oldak and Zanuck will disappear. So for this part, you could either run all the way down to the south side, but there's not really much point. It's better to home telly to Edgeville and use the fairy rings together. 
I apologize, I forgot to mention it at the start of the video. But you can simply just walk south from here and eventually get there by going through the little agility thing. But I can't be asked. So, Tilly to Edgeville, and you can bank in Edgeville Bank, get your dream and stuff. So that's the only extra item you need. And head to the fair ring between Edgeville and the GE. And you need to go to AJQ. So, right next to you, Zanuck and Uldark will be there. Go ahead and talk to Zanuck. And there should be a large contraption or machine right next to you. Just click on that and you can adjust it. And in the left column, you want 9. The second column you want 4, and the third you want 1. So as soon as you put that in, confirm, all dark will activate it, and the fear ring will work. And you'll appear in UBS. So, as soon as you've got control, head towards your northwest. And you'll see just on the western side there's some kind of grave slash box coffin thing. Go ahead and open it up. And as soon as you do, you'll get a cutscene, and Xanak will get eaten by the box. And you'll leave. And as soon as you get back, you'll have a little cutscene with Aldak. And that's pretty much it. Quest complete. So, congratulations. This will net you 1 quest point, 3k agility, herbal thieving, fishing, strength, and 2k prayer XP. And it's also a prerequisite for quite a few things, so it's very nice to have. Additionally, this has actually got an extra mini quest you can do after it, called Hope Spears Will. And this is actually one of the requirements for the comp cape, whether or not it's for the trimmed comp cape or normal one, I can't remember. But I'll do that probably Monday, I'll upload the video for that as that does actually net you about 14k prayer XP and it's one of the requirements out the way whether or not you're planning on getting the comp game or not so other than that I hope you all enjoyed this was a pretty easy quest temple tracking guide and inferno ads guide of how to get it will come soon other than that that's about it so I'll catch you all later